Tragedy on 695, an early morning crash that police believe may have involved alcohol and speed, kills two teenagers. George Solis reports on what we're learning about the victims tonight. WJZ obtaining this cell phone video of the deadly crash that shut down the outer loop of 695 at Providence Road for several hours this morning. EMS 6 responds, request of EMS 1 in route as well for an NBC with two ejections. I-695 on the outer loop between Providence and Delaney Valley. Maryland State Police say before 1.30 this morning, a 2000 Honda Accord struck the right shoulder guardrail, overturned, and eventually came to rest in the center lane. One backseat passenger identified as 18-year-old Matthias Liswan died at the scene. 15-year-old Hannah Goodman, who was also in the back seat, was transported to a nearby hospital where she was pronounced dead. According to a funeral home website, private services for the teen will be held this Sunday. In a letter obtained by WJZ, Franklin's High School principal confirms that Liswan was a graduate of the high school and that Goodman was still a student there. The letter goes on to say emotional support services will be made available to anyone who needs it. Authorities have also identified one of the two people sitting in front. There's a possibility the driver of this vehicle has fled the scene. Ford on foot towards Delaney Valley Road. State police officials say 18-year-old Nico Ali Reese Stanton fled the scene after the crash. The other front passenger, a 17-year-old from Tawnytown, has not been named. Police say they don't know which of the two was driving, but say they were looking for Stan on an unrelated matter. He was actually found to be on an outstanding warrant and also transported to the hospital. Anyone who witnessed the crash is asked to call state police.